Good evening, brothers and sisters. The Spirit of the Lord put something on my heart I just want to share with you. I was thinking about home, that everlasting home, that new city of Jerusalem that's coming down from God, from heaven, for us. The care, the King James Version KGV says 12,000 furlong, which equals roughly 1,500 miles. 1,500 miles in length and breadth and height. It's equal to nearly the size of the entire United States of America. And you have to understand the height would be as wide, would be as, was as great as the width and the length would be as long as the breadth. If every story were 12 feet high, it would measure over 660,000 feet into the air. Stories, better spoken. 660,000 stories into the air. It would pierce out of space. But that's the new home. That's the new city God's bringing down from heaven. And he's not just going to put us in a new city in the end. The new city of Jerusalem. We're going to be clothed with life. We're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. When Yeshua said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. A lot of people are under the misguided belief that he's talking about little houses that belong to all of us. But no, no. The mansions are tabernacles. The tabernacle that we dwell in now is this tabernacle of flesh. This robe of flesh grows old, decays, gets sick feels pain, and it dies. We are going to be clothed in life. In life. Just like Adam and Eve were before the fall. Even Paul, when you read in 2 Corinthians, talks about it. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of it. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we're starting at the first verse. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle, he's talking about the body, were dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, he's keeping that house for us, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. It comes from God. Okay. If so be, if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened for not for that which we are unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality, this flesh might be swallowed up of life, of life. Of life. Okay. Of life. When Jesus spoke about. In my father's house. Are many mansions. If it were not so. I would have told you. But I go and prepare a place for you. Remember what I told you. A lot of times. Because the words aren't translated for us. Because it's not broken down for us. We think. Oh there's a beautiful house in heaven. No. It's built for us. It's coming from heaven. But it's coming to us. We are going to dwell on the earth. And that's why even Jerusalem is coming down. And just to give you an idea of what that city is going to look like. Just the streets. The city was pure gold. Pure gold. Pure gold. Remember, we will be clothed in life. In life. Okay? You have a lot of people that want to teach that um, 
everybody can do everything. It is not true. God has an order. He has an order to the way he does things. And you have to study to understand the order, even the order of where we live, how we live. We will be dressed in life. The houses that we dwell in now, these buildings we call houses, we live in them to protect these earthly bodies. Because they cannot take the elements. They, it grows old. It feels pain. It dies. But we are not talking about being clothed in flesh. We're talking about being clothed in life. So the way we live, the way we move, the way we breathe, the way we think will be so far removed from anything we've known here. I has not seen, ear have not heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man. All those things, God, love. I'm dreaming of home, a city so magnificent, so large, fifteen hundred miles in length. It is a perfect square in length, in breadth, and in height. It goes up 1,500 miles. It is 1,500 miles across in width and 1,500 miles in length. A perfect square. Perfect square. 12 gates. Three on each side of the city. A 12 pearl. There is pearly gates, but they're to the city of Jerusalem. The Jerusalem that comes down from heaven. It comes down. We will be in those 12 pearly gates. We live in that city. There's three gates on the east, three gates on the west, three gates on the north, and three gates on the south. Dream a little dream because this dream's coming true. This is the life. God has in store for me and you. Dream a little dream. Take it higher. When this life starts crushing you, you know a secret that's so true. No rent, no mortgage can touch it. You think you got a pretty house here? Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing to compare. I have not seen is, have not heard the beauty, the sights. Nor has it entered into the heart of man. All those things God has in store for those who love him. All those things. To be clothed in life. In life itself. We go back to the beginning. Before the fall. That perfect body. Perfect eyes. Perfect mind. Before Adam and Eve fell. They were in their perfection. We get to experience perfection. To live in life. Not knowing death. Not knowing pain. Not knowing age. Not knowing fear. Not knowing sorrow. I have not seen, not in this life, to have an honest leader. Because that's going to be God. So pure. The glory of him lights the city. We don't have a need for a sun or a candle. There's no light. There's no nighttime there. No nighttime. We moving on up to a new house. Not made by man. Thief cannot gain entry. There's no fear in that land. One of these days, brothers and sisters, we going home. We going home and it's coming down from heaven. It's coming down from heaven. Okay? God even talks about it. In book of Revelations, chapter 21. The revelation, brothers and sisters, for those who don't know, it was not the revelation of John. No, it wasn't. The revelation was to Jesus. Just for a moment, let's go to Revelation's first verse, chapter one. 
the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him. It's the revelation of the word of God, which God gave to Yeshua. He gave it to Jesus. God gave it to him. Okay. To show unto his servants, Jesus, the word of life, Jesus showed it to his servants. But God gave the revelation to Yeshua. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. God gave the revelation to Yeshua. And Yeshua sent, sent it and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Who bear record. He bear record. He wrote it down. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what he told me. I'm going to write it down. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And of all things that he saw. All things that he saw. All things that he saw. But let's go back again. Just to understand, because some people will say, oh, the revelation, you know, the book of Revelations was the revelation of John. It became a revelation to John. But the book of Revelation, who was the re revelation initially given to? The revelation of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, which God gave unto him. He gave it unto Yeshua, to Jesus to show unto his servants, unto Jesus' servants, unto the servants which God gave him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. And John begins to give the description. And when you read about the city, the city. There is a city not made by hands. My mama. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. And I saw no temple therein. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk mm, 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 in the light of it. Oh yes, there will be many nations saved. The nation and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor to it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. No night. No night. No night. I started thinking about the city. I started thinking about home. I started thinking about streets of gold. About gates made of pearl. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. There's a place called home that belongs to us, brothers and sisters. And yes, I intend to get deep and into detail on these subjects and topics, but my heart is just spilling out. And to lay down and know one day we're going to live in a city like that with streets of gold. The city itself, pure gold. 
like unto clear glass. We know he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manners of fruit, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation, and there was no more curse. But the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it. My, 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 my. I want to go back. I just want to say some words. I used to tell my children because it made my heart happy. When I thought about it, 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 it would make my heart happy. Just thinking about what God has in store. For those who love him. I'm in chapter 21, the book of Revelations. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. And be their God. And God, Elohim, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. All tears. That's all sadness. All memories that give pain. Mm. There shall be no more death. You know, that's the last thing me to get put down. Woo, you want to talk about a pain. You want to talk about my mama. Break a strong man's heart. Death. I tell you something. Death does not discriminate. Mm -mm. No, he doesn't matter. He doesn't care how rich you are, how old you are, how beautiful, how handsome, how well you bake, how good you look. Whether you have or have not, you can be anywhere from a newborn to a man of. It doesn't matter. In all spaces, places, and people in between, he'll creep in while you're leaning back on a chair. With all your healthy faces glowing, looking like you're asleep, touch you from the tip of your head, top of your head to the bottom of your feet, and just took you away. Death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there shall be no more death. Mm -mm. Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Ooh we and that pain thing. People buy pills, they get on drugs, they drink, do all types of things, trying to escape pain. And you gotta understand pain. Because pain is multidimensional. It's not just physical. There's emotional pain. There's spiritual pain. There's mental pain. As well as physical. But there shall be in that city. Oh God. It's coming down from that. No more pain. There won't be any pain there. I'm telling you I have a plan. I got my reservation with the Lord. Please let me in. Please let me in. No more death. When he wipes all tears, all tears, all the memories will be gone of this world and what it did to us too. We won't carry this thing with us. It will set us free from it. We'll be beyond it. For the form of things, mm -mm, mm, that's a good meal. I got to chew that twice or passed away. Wait a minute, I gotta bite it again. The four month thing you ever go through something and the only way to get through it is you keep trying to see the end. 
Let it pass away. Let it pass away. You need it in the rear view. I got to put this thing so far in the rear view, I ain't even sure it's back there anymore. That's how you know it's over. The former things are passed away. Mm. No more pain. Death cannot come in. Mm. Mm. No. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, come on, I'm going to show you something. Behold, I make all things new. Mm, mm, mm. Now that, mm, I, I, I just, I need to carry it with me sometimes. Life starts trying to beat up on us. And I get homesick for a home I haven't seen, but I know it's my home. I get homesick and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go and leave this earthly vessel behind, this old tabernacle. You know, they, they that spiritual song said, this old building, it just keep on leaning. <laughs> I got to find me a, a better home. And I know it's there because Yeshua was sent in my father's house. See, when you get to New Jerusalem, that landlord ain't going to put you out once he lets you in because it's God's house. You understand? There won't be any of these thieving robbers, these banks that use usury, that, that overcharge your interest rate and, and take your money and live obscenely with it. Mm -mm. No. Where you going? Where you going? You're leaving? You can have that old building. I'm going to my father's house. There are many, many mats. And I know because Yeshua, Jesus, went and, made, and prepared a place for me. If it were not so, he would have told me. Thank you. I'm going. You're going too. You're going too. Because remember, in our father's house, there are many mansions. And imagine all our robes of life, our robes of life, okay? When this corrupt puts on incorruptible, remember, when this mortal puts on immortality, mm, mm, mm. Woo, I, 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 you don't understand, it's a good meal, I needed it, I needed it, I get strength, I get strength, Lord have mercy, mm, mm, mm. It's a good thing. I, 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 I'm dreaming of my home. I'm dreaming of home. When it get too much stuff, get homesick for home. Because this is a home you know you're going to. This is a home. Work for it. You understand? One step at a time. Get closer to the thing. Because I'm going home. I'm, I'm just telling you now. That's my plan. I, I'm, I'm working it out. I ask God mercy, mercy, mercy. Woo wee mm -mm -mm. That's a good one. Let me tell you. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Woo! And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Lord, help me. This is it. So that when the corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Mm, mm, mm. Death is swallowed up in victory. Going home, going home. Mm, mm, mm. I got the key. I got the key. I'm going home. Yes, Lord. Oh, death, where is that sting? Oh, grave, where is that victory? Come on, come on, come on. Mm, mm, mm. Fifteen thousand miles, perfect square. The length, the height, and the breadth. Twelve pearly gates, not in heaven. It's made in heaven, but it's coming down. You understand? It's prepared there, but it's coming down. Woo wee! Mm mm mm. Lord, have mercy. Mm, I, I forgive me. I'm just getting happy. I'm getting happy. I'm praying that my name make it in that book of life, when they get to reading, when the separating come, when the separating come, when they put the goats on the left and the sheep on the right, 
I want to be in that number. I want to see my name written in the book of life. Do you understand? Ooh wee. Just dreaming a home, just dreaming a home. One of these old days, old things pass away. All things become new. Yes, my love. Yes, yes, yes. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. We moving out soon. We moving out. We moving out. There's a city. I'm moving in. It's got 12 pearly gates. Oh, yes, it does. There's a tree of life that bears 12 manner of fruit. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We go home. We go home. You want to dream a dream, but this dream is true. Help me now. 12 manners of fruit. Mm, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Talk to each other. Encourage each other. Talk to yourself. Encourage yourself. I'm going home. I'm going home. This old robe of flesh, I'm going to drop it one day. So I can be clothed in life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. One of these days, I'm not going to look like this. I'll be all shiny and new. And when I see that pretty, pretty shiny baby coming up on me, I hope the shine is you. Be encouraged. Yes. Dreaming of home. Dreaming of home. Going home. 1,500 miles. 1,500 miles high. 1,500 miles long. 1,500 miles wide. My, 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 my. Mm. I have not seen it has not heard. This is what comes to the children of the most high God. You understand? Even if they took your money, even if they left you a little boat, hmm, giggle in the back of your heart. Let that thing come about your throat. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Go on one day, brothers and sisters. Go on. Mm -hmm. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let your little light shine, too. When we get there, I'm going to look for that little beautiful light of you. And I want to be the light you see, too. That's right. That's right. That's all right. Be encouraged. I'm going to just drop some love on you. Just drop in love. My father, I feel his love. I feel the love of Yeshua and the word of life because I know it's true. I feel the word of the Holy Spirit, the glory of God. We go home. We go home. Just like Paul said, while well, in this building, this tabernacle, we do grow. Mm. We want to be dressed in life. And we're going to be dressed in life. Old things pass away. Remove all tears from our eyes. No more pain, no sorrow. Oh, have mercy. Mm. That'll get you. That'll get you to sit up straight, pay attention. Yes, Lord. I'm tired of being tired. What death? I can't even begin. Think about all the people that are gone. I took a little piece of my heart with them. I think about them and it's stunned. Death. Death is one of those bad boys. That's why Jesus takes him down. He's the last enemy. Death can't get in. I'll be standing at the door of the city when I'm going. That's right. He cannot enter. My father said, so Jesus sealed it and the Holy Spirit ain't going to let you. Woo! I can't wait to go on. And, oh, I'm dressed in life. It fits me well. This robe I wear uh, fits me well. It was made in my father's house. My brother Jesus, Yeshua, told me. If it were not so, he would have told me. But I know my father's house. Many mansions. Those mansions are Homes, the, the, the dwelling places. Just like he made this robe of flesh for us, this robe that is mixed with death. Be 
because we carry bloodline of men, that DNA. But remember, when Yeshua resurrected, he took that blood into the holy of holy in the heavenlies. And all of us that agree, we got the DNA of the everlasting on us. We already wore the DNA of the first half. Now we can put on that robe of life for the second Adam that Jesus stood in his stead for us. Yes. Mm. 1,500 miles high. 1,500 miles long. 1,500 miles wide. Whoo! Mm. A city of gold. Clear as clear. Think of home. Think of home. Nobody can put you out. Be encouraged. Just dropping some love on you. Dropping some knowledge on the spirit. Peace.